My name is Jenny Kim. I'm the Assistant Director for Talent at the Research Park, and my main role is to help all of the companies in the Research Park connect with talent, the student talent like yourselves. So um, we're really, really happy to have you all here joining us for today's event. Um, if you are not familiar with Research Park right now, I'm sharing a brief little slide that just gives you a general overview. Research Park is a technology hub that cultivates startups and accelerates corporate innovation. There are over 120 companies in the Research Park and over 800 interns that work all across the park. These range from freshman to PhD and they really do focus, the companies really focus on skills and experience-based hiring. So when you get the chance to speak with the employers today, I really, really encourage you to um, talk really about the skills that you're bringing. What experiences are you bringing? Uh, more about projects that you might wanna work on rather than just your major. Um, you're all doing really, really interesting work um, at the graduate level and so there's a lot of opportunity for really, really interesting conversations and a lot of um, awesome skills that the companies will be able to complete with you guys. Um, they do hire uh, students from all across uh, the campus. So all sorts of different majors from all of the different colleges and these are paid internships. So if you are interested in seeing currently what's available, if you haven't checked it out, out already, be sure that you check out the Research Park job board at researchpark.illinois.edu slash careers. That is the best place to look initially because that only Research Park companies can post to this job board. If you have any questions, you can always email uirp-jobs at illinois.edu and myself or some of our HR interns will be happy to help field some of those questions. Um, there are um, jobs that are specifically looking for PhDs and uh, those will be posted, they'll be posted on the Research Park job board. So typically we may highlight um, some of the jobs through LinkedIn, but really researchpark.illinois.edu slash careers, the job board is the best place to look. All right, so be, be, before, um, I'm gonna stop sharing that screen. And before we head out to meet the employers, um, we have today for you put together a, a panel of some graduate interns that work in the research park. So I'm really excited to have these folks talk to you a little bit about their experience and share some advice um, on how uh, you can also score an internship in the research park. So today we have with us Roger Huang, who is working at the PNG Smart Lab. We have Jay Joshi, who is a data science intern um, at the Cargill Innovation Lab, and Emily Orden, who was our very own HR intern at Enterprise Works, um, and she also worked at the AbV Innovation Center as a business systems analyst. So thank you all um, for joining us today. So we'll just dive right in. And I'm actually going to let each of them introduce themselves a little bit further, tell you a little bit about their major um, and what their position is and how long they've been there. So if we could start with Roger. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Roger Huang. I'm from Taiwan and uh, I'm in the MBA program with two concentrations in supply chain management and the business data analytics. I am interning currently at Procter & Gamble Smart Lab as a procurement management intern since this past April. And uh, I, I really like this internship and thanks to uh, PNG and also Research Park for the career fair uh, arrangement. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Emily Orden. I'm really happy to be with you all this Tuesday evening. I am currently a master's student um, in getting in uh, human resources and industrial relations at the College of Labor and Employment Relations. I'll be graduating this December. Um, I held two internships with the Research Park. The first one, as Jenny mentioned, was with Enterprise Works as a human resources intern. Um, I was in that role for about a year and then transitioned into AbbVie, the AbbVie Innovation Center, also for about a year. Hello, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Jay Joshi, and uh, I work at uh, Cargill as a data science intern. My academic major is in uh, information management, where uh, I'm doing uh, like specialization in data science. And that is how I 
landed into uh, an internship uh, at Research Park uh, in data science domain. All right, great. Thank you very much. Um, so if you could tell us a little bit more about what each of your internships specifically entails. So what is your main role? What kind of work do you do? What types of projects do you, um, have you had a chance to work on already? It'd be great if you can, we could just get a little bit more um, information about your internship. And we'll start with Roger again. All right, so I'm responsible for uh, keeping the budget tracker most updated and uh, recording each purchase and the expenses in the tracker. Also purchasing supplies uh, for office operations and also research studies because PNG Smart Lab is a, is a center, uh, center of innovation and create, uh, creativity for uh, several consumer research studies. And also uh, sourcing suppliers that provides fry services to smart lab operations and uh, research studies. And so that's what I am doing right now. And uh, also recently I, I successfully um, sourced several uh, suppliers in the Urbana Champagne area for smart lab uh, operations. That's all. Um, so from my experiences, the first one with Enterprise Works, I got to work a lot um, in managing the Research Park job board that we, the link is in the chat for uh, that job board where all the positions are posted from all the companies. Um, so I spent a lot of time doing that, uh, mainly day to day, but then also had an op the opportunity to help with the recruiting and the selection for um, our interns that actually work with Enterprise Works. And that was always a really great experience I like to draw from. Um, still to this day, it's been about two years, but uh, really applicable experience that I was able to have there. And then also with AbbVie, helping them with a lot of day-to-day -day operations, um, as well as their uh, applicant tracking systems as well, and keeping uh, their recruitment process on track with timelines and um, uh, acquiring those interns as well. Yeah, so I started my journey with Kaggle this semester and uh, I started, I mean, this was my first exposure, you know, directly working with uh, industry apart from uh, uh, the summer internship that I had. So this is this is kind of a semester long system and uh, I, I, I got to work on some real world projects, which are, uh, uh, you know, which which operate at different locations across the United States. Uh, my role here is to uh, design a safety system uh, based out of uh, computer vision and uh, different tools in data science. So I built IoT devices and uh, embed machine learning uh, capabilities into them and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's been uh, fun. It's been a lot of learning uh, and interaction with uh, like uh, senior data scientists and data scientists uh, and working professionals. So yeah, so far it's been a great journey with uh, with Kagan. Great, thank you so much. So can you tell us what you have specifically gained from your internship at Research Park? Uh, yeah, so uh, working at uh, Research Park, I have developed a lot of skills to uh, to not only formulate a real world problem. Uh, it's 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 a, as you know, it's it's a direct exposure to industry, and uh, I, I I mean. I directly came from my undergraduate studies with some research experience. So uh, I've gained a lot of exposure, you know, about the corporate world, uh, how it functions. Uh, I was made uh, kind of aware about agile method of uh, working in industry. And uh, I learned a lot of different skills, uh, not only technical, but also uh, like the non-technical skills, such as, you know, presenting uh, like a technical problem to uh, to managers and maybe like other non-technical audience. So yeah, uh, it's, it, I mean, there, there's been a lot of learning. Cool. Uh, so I have gained a tremendous amount of experience from my internship. I, I got to work what I have dreamed of uh, to do, which is procurement. And uh, I would like to pivot my career path from a sales representative to a buyer and sourcing manager. So this is a great 
uh, opportunity for me to to practice and uh, strengthen the skills in sourcing or uh, negotiating with suppliers. And uh, I always enjoy my, enjoyed myself or uh, interacting with suppliers and the customers doing business together and visiting their facilities. Uh, in the past summer, I got an opportunity to visit one of the suppliers that I source and uh, do the auditing to set the vendor up in the system. And uh, also it's, uh, it's a wonderful learning experience to negotiate uh, the price uh, term and policy in each contract and types of uh, service with uh, suppliers for uh, the smart lab operations. So it, it's, a, it's a wonderful, tremendous, wonderful um, experience for me doing the internship at smart lab. Yeah, and for me, um, when I look back on my experiences, I think about what a unique opportunity it was to be able to gain real life experience, especially in HR with the recruiting and the selection. While I was a student, I think that part is so special um, and being able to work part time while I was also going to school uh, was really great. So you're getting applicable experience while you're a student and I was able to be very flexible in my roles as well. Um, so being able to learn hard skills and soft skills, um, I know for myself, I had, I knew I wasn't very great with Excel, for example. Um, so I was able to seek out an experience with the Abbey Innovation Center where I was working in Excel almost every day I went to work. And so that was something I can look back on and see um, where I began with that skill and how I ended um, so much better than where I started. And I'm able to leverage that uh, with new experiences moving forward and, it, and with my studies as well. All right. And if you could tell us a little bit about how you got your position at Research Park. Maybe we'll start with Emily this time. Sure. So my very first uh, internship with Enterprise Works, I actually was just really interested in the Research Park. Um, and so I took it upon myself to just be checking the job board. I think I was checking it every day back when I was uh, in my undergrad, actually, just trying to seek something that fit my uh, skill set or what I was interested in. Um, so I really leveraged the job board for uh, my first position with Enterprise Works. And then the research park does a really great job at exposing you to everybody who's there. And they host um, many events throughout the year uh, where you're able to work on your networking skills and get to talk to other uh, companies, employers. And so that's where I was able to move into my next role with the Abbey Innovation Center. Yeah, so mine was a funny case. I uh, I was I was go uh, I went to my hotel for uh, I mean you know some free food actually I mean there was there was there was a networking event going on, <laughs> so I went there uh, and networked with uh, people around, and that is where I was able to talk uh, to the recruiter of Kaggle and uh, I pitched in that you know I, I I'm really interested in computer vision. Uh, I was taking a course during during that semester. And uh, I told them, you know, if, if you have some projects related to uh, what I'm studying uh, in, in the school, then, you know, I'd love to take a role and uh, contribute to your projects. And uh, there I was like, you know, I, I, I got a call uh, like a few weeks after uh, the event. And uh, yeah, that, that's how I got into this uh, internship. So, I mean, yeah, basically like my learning is that, you know, you should go out and, uh, uh, attend all the networking events that are happening in the campus and uh, reach out to people who are uh, working in research park because they uh, they are most updated uh, with the openings uh, inside the research park so yeah go and uh, network with as many people as you can cool so uh, my case is also a, a interesting one so I have a connection with the site director at uh, PNG Smart Lab, who happens to be a, a GIS MBA alumni. And uh, we happen to be uh, the same, uh, same uh, the members of the same church. So I, I happen to see him every week and uh, talk to him every week and also uh, provide him with um, some updates of my my 
uh, internship hunting and also job hunting. And uh, he is a great mentor to, uh, to me and provide me a lot of uh, feedbacks. So, and also he, uh, I attended the, the Research Park Career Fair uh, in this past March and talked to the site director about the position at uh, Smart Lab. So uh, then I had the opportunity to interview with him and also interviewed with uh, the other two uh, PMG employees. Yeah, so that's my case. Okay, great. And final question for you. Do you, what is one piece of advice that you would like to share with the, our audience today before they go and meet with the companies? Uh, I would say ask questions to them and show them uh, your interest, to, uh, interest in the work they do and also the company so that they, you will uh, get their attention and also connect with the, the employees from the companies you like to work for genuinely, like constantly um, talk to them, provide uh, any, any news that you, you recently read about the company and that way you can show them your interest in, in the company. Yeah, so I would completely back on what Roger said. Uh, the first, first and foremost thing is to, to show your interest uh, because companies want people to take responsibilities and learn new things. They do not directly expect you to uh, you know, have uh, like expertise in whatever domain the projects are they want you to learn and contribute so just don't uh, don't have any hesitation and reaching out to companies and showing that you're interested uh, and taking responsibilities and learning stuff uh, that's the first thing and uh, second thing is that you know uh, you could be proactive looking at the job board uh, knowing a little bit about the responsibilities and uh, like uh, you know making a pitch which will uh, attract the recruiters on the at the career fair or uh, in any networking event and uh, you can highlight what is exactly relevant to the uh, job posting if, if you are aware about the uh, rules uh, and openings available at the company Yes, and I would just add on to that, especially if it's your first interaction with an employer, um, first time meeting them, I would just recommend to be your authentic self and to just be very genuine. Um, I think it can be, uh, it can be obvious if you're very, you know, of course, everyone understands that you can be nervous, um, but just to be to be yourself and to let your personality shine as well while you're trying to make these great impressions um, and just be assured that you know your resume the best and you can speak to your experiences um, in the best way possible. So just remember to uh, relax and just be you. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was very, that was great. Um, so we have uh, time for maybe one or two questions. If you, um, do we have any in the chat that? Didn't get answered, Laura? I don't see any in the chat, but I can um, ask a question to our panel if you don't mind. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, so what do you think specifically, um, so this, this event is for graduate students. So I'm just curious, wh what do you think you've gotten out of your experience that maybe, um, as a graduate student in your organization that maybe would be different, not necessarily from the undergraduates who are working, but maybe from when you were an undergraduate, like, what are you getting out of it now that you might not have experienced if you were doing this job three years ago or, or whatever it was that you were an undergrad? Does that make sense? Jay, you're nodding, so I'll get, yeah. have you go first. Yeah, sure. So uh, I, I did a couple of internships uh, when I was in my undergraduate studies, but you know the main difference between uh, internships back then and uh, like the work that I'm doing now is the amount of responsibilities that I get. Uh, it's it, it is it is you know it's quite it, there's a big difference between. Uh, the responsibilities that you get while you are an undergraduate student and uh, like while taking the similar responsibilities uh, you you have more uh, to show uh, you have more to deliver and companies they look upon you to to make an impact so uh, 
this is something you know uh, which stands stands out from the internships uh, in the past so uh, definitely everyone should try and grab uh, opportunity of working at research park and uh, yeah I'd, i would enc- i would really encourage uh, everyone to uh, be uh, thoughtful and aware about uh, all the possibilities and opportunities uh, at research park yeah so Emily, I think you can you you had an undergrad internship as well as a as internship in your graduate studies. So curious to your perspective. Yeah, well, that's a really great question because I don't think I have ever explicitly thought, you know, what what was there a shift or was it different? Um, and for my experience, each role was doing similar things. Um, but I would say as a graduate student, it became, um, it just became very applicable to, uh, what I was studying in in my graduate program and being able to take that my graduate program does has a really robust, uh, recruiting season for full-time, uh, employment and such. And so I think it became just more, um, applicable to, I guess, what I was trying to uh, get into my early career for, for sure. And I was even able, I think I mentioned it earlier, to kind of tailor my experience towards what I was looking for in HR. Because I I had a slight idea in my undergrad, because my undergrad was actually in psychology. Um, And so I was doing a bit of HR work but not really knowing the scope of what HR could really be in the different areas in HR. And so I think going into the graduate internship and uh, my studies as well, I was able to really hone in on what it was I wanted to work on in my internship. Roger, any thoughts? Uh, so <laughs> I didn't have any, any undergrads internship experience. And so this is my first, very first time doing a uh, internship and it was a great experience for me to to experience the the real time uh, working environment and uh, also the the way that uh, PMG does uh, those big companies do and that helped me um, understand what I need to strengthen and also what kind of skills or knowledge I need to need to get from my my uh, my graduates programs as well so yeah that's about it great thank you um, so any other advice that you would give the folks who are joining us uh, uh, tonight? Um, any final words of advice in terms of how to leverage this opportunity that they have here in Research Park? Uh, I would say uh, stay very active on LinkedIn. Uh, reach out to people. Don't don't feel ashamed of uh, you know asking about what projects uh, do they work uh, work in. What what role do they have in specific companies and uh, how. How are they, you know, uh, feeling being at, at, at a particular Gosh. company? So, yeah, just reach out, reach out to people on LinkedIn. Yeah, I put my LinkedIn in the chat earlier. And if any of you, um, I can put it again in case anyone missed it. But if you guys want to put your LinkedIn, I mean, one of the reasons we do these events is not just so you can meet us, but so you can meet each other, too. So. Remember, there's definitely a lot of value in networking, not just with the companies, but with your fellow students, students like Jay, who have uh, have great experience in, in different opportunities. One of the things that we find, and, and I'll go to Emily and Roger next, but one of the things that we find is that we have some companies that simply hire based on word of mouth. So um, they... they uh, find some students, you know, maybe that could be somebody like Jay, but, um, or Emily or Roger, who have friends who are like-minded or in the similar curriculum or just are very well motivated. And um, so word of mouth is powerful. So never, uh, you know, even your fellow students can be great, uh, great people to network with. So. 
Roger, you want to take that one? Yeah, I like to pick up what uh, Jay mentioned. Uh, reach out as many people as you can uh, through LinkedIn, and uh, also invest yourself as much as you uh, as much as possible. Acquire as many uh, technical and uh, soft skills as possible, so that way you can be be ready to to get an interview with uh, with companies. Yeah, and I'll tack on to that as well. Um, and maybe this is maybe more applicable to the introverts on the call, but something that I had to get accustomed to very quickly with networking and especially through um, platforms like Zoom and not being able to be in person is to just wrap your mind around the idea of being comfortable, being uncomfortable. And it's not always easy to reach out to people you don't know, um, but that is like Laura was mentioning, um, word of mouth and just being able to form those connections is very important. Um, and it can take you very far. Uh, so that's just my little piece of advice as you um, go into some of these networking events to just keep in mind. Thank you, panelists. You guys are all amazing. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yep. Thank you for having us. Thank you.